What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So like I had mentioned in a previous video, we're going to start to modify this camper shell to make it fit because as you can see, it overhangs a little down here and we still have a little bit of extra. The plan at first was to shave it down and just uh, make the angle fit and then we were going to cut it down right here and shorten it about an inch and three quarter. But the more we thought about it, we figured, you know, it's going to be harder to line this up if we were to cut it straight right here because then there is a chance that we can put it back together and it could be shifted over or up or to the side or anything. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna cut the front off. Usually on the front, they have a little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, you can see it on the bottom, uh, which is where the gasket goes and it seals up against the cab. Uh, but if you look, it starts to uh, essentially get lost because someone had already cut it. So it's missing a portion of the lip, starting right there in the center of the screen working all the way up. On the top, there is no lip, and then back to the same thing, there is a tiny bit of lip left right there. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing, since that's pretty much all gone, is we're just going to trim and cut the front and you know not worry about that and keep pushing it to the front to where the back lines up. And then once we get this angle and we like where it's at, we're going to leave all of the edges nice and flat and then we're just going to build up a new lip that way we can get a seal, a custom seal made so it seals up against the cab. Would much rather it look and flow good out here versus have that little lip on the inside because we could always build that lip up uh, with fiberglass and, and do it how we want and get a custom seal made that way it seals up against the cab. I just drew a rough line where we kind of want the angle to be. So we're, it's obviously you can see not all the way to the edge of the bed and even in the back it's hanging over a little. So we're just gonna keep cutting little by little until we get it where we want. Once it's about, I would say, a quarter of an inch from where we want it, we're just going to sand it down. It's gonna take a long time, but I think it's better to sand down. That way we don't have to add material. The angle is, uh, it, it's roughly there. Now, obviously the cut that we did, it wasn't a precise cut. We just measured, uh, you know, somewhat like a random number just to kind of get the angle. Um, but now this little inside portion is hitting on the back of the cap. So now we can't go forward. So we're gonna take it off, flip it upside down, cut that out. And then we're gonna push it all the way until this right here is flush. Now, if you look at it, it's probably like, I wanna say maybe, uh, 3 16ths of an inch so it's not that much but obviously if we're custom making this fit we might as well make it fit right so we're going to push it all the way and then whatever we get we're going to make a uh, exact line all the way up all the way over and then I, we're going to try to cut it because you can see this cut that i did over here messed up a little over there which is not that big of a deal because we still have material to trim So the back is uh, pretty good. Now there is a slight gap, but obviously this shell isn't for this truck. So it doesn't match the same radius you can see right there, uh, which is obviously not that big of an issue because we're what we're dealing with. Uh, but now, now it's pretty good. Now you can see where it flows and it kind of tapers and, and it flows with the truck versus it sticking out an inch. So now what we're gonna do, the roof right here, the body line, the gap that we have, I should say, is about right so 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this gap right here from the bed to the cab. I believe it's like an inch, and now I know it's an inch on my truck. Uh, it's a single cab. I would assume that this is an inch as well. Uh, so if let's just call this an inch, I'm gonna measure an inch from this corner out here, everywhere, and then inch up here, and that's where our line's gonna be. And I'm probably gonna cut maybe a 16th of an inch in, and then that way we could file it down and make it nice and smooth. But at least now we have it pushed up all the way to the back where we want it, where the door closes with the tailgate pretty nice and tight. So this part is good. Now what we're going to do is, like I said, we're just going to make this uh, have an even gap. Because if you look at it right now, the, the angle is matching now somewhat, but the gap does not match whatsoever. So now what we got to do is we got to mirror this gap. We got to do the same gap on the shell, which you can see up here kind of has the same amount of gap but in the bottom it doesn't. Quickly clean it with some acetone. That way I can get all of the uh, powder off and that way our uh, marks are actually visible and actually stay on. Uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I wish I would have had a uh, silver Sharpie to do this, but you can see the line right there, maybe with the reflection. So that's somewhat where we need to be. Now over here, I did cut it a little close. So it's perfectly the size that we need. So if you look at the line over here, it comes straight and it ends right there. So I'm, I'm not even gonna try to cut right here. Um, we're just probably just gonna grind and clean that up. But I did the same thing on the other side. I don't know if the light there it is, you can see with the reflection. But uh, right now, the thing that we can't go forward anymore is for one, this already shuts good. So that's in the perfect spot. And the little lip on the inside the one that actually hugs onto the bed, it's all the way forward. So that's all the way forward. The sides are all the way to the sides. so far what it's looking like now you can see we got the angle down we got the spacing right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh some trimming up in here so the way i i think we should do it is um the things you use i'm not sure the the proper name but the things that you use to do body work to get you know even panels it's like long uh, pieces of wood with long uh, sandpaper and it's it's just a big like two foot section that you drag across the body just to make sure everything is nice and even so uh, I got one of those from Harbor Freight I think it was like two three bucks uh, I got one and I got some I want to say it was like 40 grit sandpaper like the long pieces so with that now we'll be able to come in here and just uh, you know get a nice flat even surface All right, so this is where we're at right here you can see there is a uh, slight gap and then over here, it's all nice and even now. And then we're also going to be removing the windows and getting the trims all taken apart. We're also gonna be removing this back door. <laughs> all right, so you guys obviously just saw that. I wasn't paying attention and the freaking camper shell just slid off and fell on the truck. And I thought it broke, but luckily it didn't. It just kind of fell and it hit this truck a little, but it didn't do any damage. So now we, <laughs> we took it off. Um, doesn't look like there's any damage. I think what helps is that it doesn't have the support in here, the, the little trim that's supposed to go on there, because right now it has a lot of flex, as you can see. I think that definitely helped because it did flex a lot. I thought it snapped in half and folded over, uh, but everything in here looks good. I don't see any cracks. I didn't hear any cracks, so, so we're good. Um, now I already showed this side. This side is nice and smooth. We're just gonna fix the top a little, and then uh, we're gonna get these windows off to get all of this uh, polished. But to get that off, as you can see, there's a bunch of little screws on the inside. So we just unscrew it. It sandwiches it from the outside of the inside. Get those off. Oh man, I'm glad that this thing didn't break. That would have been uh, no fun. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Luckily, it's still good. But uh, yeah, let's keep uh, keep going on this thing. A little pissed off because this happened because of me. Oh, that sucks. Right here, what I did is I just got some black spray paint and I painted the edge right here, just a very thin coat, that way it would be pretty light. Um, and I sprayed it black just so we could see the low spots. So over here is a good example of this side. Uh, we just did a quick little, uh, just shaved it up and down. You can see if it's white, that means it's good and it's flat. And if it's dark, like right here, you can see that that is a low spot. So up here where it's white is where I hit it a little bit. So I went like this and then obviously it missed this little portion so this is a low spot which is a good indicator that we need to keep working on it right there uh, but we're gonna do that on purpose I'll explain that in a little bit uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all of this you can see there's a couple low spots it's hard to see them uh, but when there is uh, the black paint behind it and you see all the white then we'll be able to know that there is a low spot there like right here there's a little what looks to be like a little nick this camera isn't doing too well but right there right here you can see that it looks like the angle grinder kind of dug into it a little so that's the low spot uh, but obviously if I wasn't looking at it like close like this I wouldn't see that so with the uh, paint we'll be able to identify the low spots and the high spots so right there you can see where the low spots are so over here there's a high spot high spot all these are high spots and you can see all the low spots in there so that's kind of the whole point of the paint right now So what we want is for this to be white everywhere. So right here you can see we got the nice little edge. We also did a nice little radius on there. Obviously we're going to touch up on this when we do more body work and prep it to paint, which should be pretty soon. Uh, but for now, it's all nice and evenly cut. So now we're gonna throw it on the truck um, and then make sure everything is good. Spacing's right. We also trimmed a little up here on the front since this was hitting on the back of the cab. So we trimmed a little bit on there. So now we're gonna test this and see if it's good. And if it is, then we're gonna start to build the inner lip. Right here is what it's looking like. You can see now it kind of flows. It looks good. We also did a little bit of a uh, bevel on there, a little bit of radius. Like I said, we're still gonna come back to this once we start to prep it for paint, which like I said, should be pretty soon. Um, we just have to do one last thing before we can take the windows out, and that is to make the little lip that goes on the inside so the seal can mount up to there. Hopefully it doesn't fall this time. I don't see why it would, but. <laughs> um, so you can see there's obviously no lip. So we're gonna make the lip, uh, construct it all the way from scratch, and we're gonna try to make it as uh, as close as we can to the factory window. That way when we do get a seal for it, it only touches on the window seal and not on the actual paint, so it doesn't mess up the paint of the truck. Uh, so in the next video, uh, we should be making this seal, which uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I would recommend that you guys check out the channel, that way you guys can see how we do it. Uh, but it's pretty simple, uh, just throw some fiberglass in here just because you can see this thing is very, very flimsy without that little inner support. Um, and I don't want to take the windows out just yet because I feel like it'll be even more flimsy and it might um, be crooked once we start to mold everything. So I'd rather have the windows in there for some uh, structural support. And then we, once we do the inside and we trim it all nice, then we can take the windows out, get them polished, and then start to prep it and get it ready for paint. I'm also trying to convince my dad to uh, rag top the camper shell. We're going to try to put a rag top as big as we possibly can just because uh, I like rag tops and I'm trying to convince him. So hopefully... He's uh, down for that idea. I don't see why he wouldn't. Rack tops are awesome. They look super good. Uh, so that'll also be on the channel if we do end up doing that. If you guys definitely enjoyed this video and maybe found it somewhat useful. Now, keep in mind, me and my dad are not professionals. We do not do body work. 
Uh, we don't have any business doing body work. We're not very good at it, uh, but we like to tinker with our cars. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully found it useful. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.